Hello everyone, it is the last Friday of the month. Welcome to another episode of Friday Sews. My name is Tanya and this is the channel where we create the atmosphere for you to celebrate your grace, beauty, and style. And I'm excited because I am celebrating today. I have finished two projects for the week. So I'm looking forward to sharing those two projects, one being one that I have on. We are gonna talk about the collars of the two projects that I have completed this week. I'm also gonna share with you my last project for the month of February, what I will be working on over the weekend. Uh, we're gonna discuss a challenge that will be going on for the month of March. And I'm gonna share with you a little bit about life. Friday Sews was started by Jen with Today in Jen's Sewing Room. She created the hashtag to join together the sewing community so we can talk a little bit about sewing and a little bit about life. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let's get started. All right, come a little closer and let's look at my first final project for this week. I shared with you a little bit about this last week. And so we have pockets. It is the Nomi pattern. And that's what I want to show you um, the whole view of the garments, right? Let's come a little closer and look at the collar. Yes. And you have your pleats on the side. I also wanted to show you a close up of the buttons and the buttonhole because I did gain some confidence with my buttonhole skill um, you can't really see the buttons because it blends into the print of the fabric which is okay i still like it um, but i want to want you to see that the buttonhole right there okay all right so i'm not going to cover too much with the nomi 2006 i did view a because we did talk about this last week a little bit uh, this particular pattern suggestion of fabrics are your cotton blends, stretch wovens, crepe, velvet, double knit. And then you need in lightweight interfacing, which is for your collar and your lapel facing as well. What I would like to do is compare this collar to my other finished projects. So I'm going to take you over there so you can see that lovely colorful project as well. All right, here she is. This is Simplicity 8844, as you see there in its view A. And the difference between uh, the view A, not only the sleeve length, but view A has gathers on the top of the shoulders there. So let me talk a little bit about this project here. I love how it turned out. Everything went well, and just like last week, just having a little bit of challenges with the collar. Now, this is the first time that I did the collar with the lapel. Uh, the last collar that I did had a collar stand, which was I felt like a little bit easier. And then I've done the collar where it just had the collar and not a lapel, right? All right, let's talk about the two different methods of these collars. It's the same type of collar. You have your collar and your lapel. Same type of collar, but it was done two different ways. I felt like this was easier. Um, I All I had to do was sew both of the collar pieces together, the upper and the under collar, and turn them inside out and then sew it around the neckline. And then the facing was the next step. On this one, it was a little more complicated because you had to pay attention to your dots. They wanted you to sew from dot to dot here and from dot to dot here. And then once you sewn it around here, you had to connect the dots again. So it left you room for some errors, right? And then when you come here to this little corner here, you sew from this corner to that corner and everything had to connect to there. So if you didn't stitch exactly to the corner there where the dot was at, and if you were missing a stitch, which I was missing a stitch, 
And then when I tried it again, I went past it. And then you could see some of the stitching on the outside. So it was a little challenging. I am going to try this pattern again because I do want to master this technique. I don't like the technique, but I do want to master it. Um, the upper and the lower was sewn separate. You sew the, the under piece to the neckline, and then the top piece was connected to your facing. So it's a little, little different. I'm also going to show you a close-up of, you can see how I didn't quite meet the stitches together. And what I did to try to cover it up, I did some uh, top stitching, make it look more crisp. Um, so it did work to that degree. Um, and because this is a printed fabric, right? It's a whole lot of print going on here. You know, from a distance, you're not gonna see the mistakes that I made. So if this was a solid color, you would definitely see some of the mistakes that I made. So I'm gonna bring you in closer so that you can see this. Okay, so as you see here, there is a little pucker. This was one of my meeting points here. There was a dot there, so I had to sew from here to here, and from here to here, and here to here. So I had to meet here, you can see that. Now on this side here, here you can see there's a little puckering going on here and then from the back side right so that's where we I had to connect to that dot okay, so while I have you here I'm going to show you inside the sleeve okay as you see in this inside there is a piece of polyester fleece and that just helps gives you some poof with your sleeve supposed to be a shoulder pad as well but I opt to leave that out because my shoulder was looking like square like that right so I didn't want that look of that square so it was okay to leave it out because you still have your gather with your sleeve this blazer needed three and a quarter yards of fabric and only had three yards of fabric which was fine because what I was going to do was use the three-quarter sleeve and just leave this portion off. But I decided to be a little creative and I added this piece of scuba knit here um, to fill in that gap. And then I had some extra pieces on the side um, from laying out my fabric that I was able to continue on with this sleeve. I wanted this sleeve because it gathered at the top. I used this fastener here, uh, which worked out well. Another adjustment that I made, instead of doing a 5 eighths um, seam allowance on the side, I because I tried it on and it was a little snug, so I did a 3 eighths seam allowance just on the side to give me some more room. You have the princess seams here. There's pockets as well. Let me show you the back side. I love the back of this because it really gives you some shape, right? Brings in your waistline. I'm gonna try this on for you, but I absolutely love how it turned out. I love all of the different colors in this jacket because in the summertime, I could wear white pants, right? The colors are endless of what I could wear, right? But I think it looks awesome. My final project for the month of February is going to be the Ellie and Mac off the shoulder romper pattern. So I printed that out and I am using this knit fabric now, technically, it's not an official Ankara fabric because usually Ankara is 100% cotton and it has the same print on both sides of the fabric. And this has the white on the one side, but it's still, you know, an African print. So I want to use this as my last project to represent Black History Month. That will be my final project for this month. Next month, 
I'm going to be participating in the Sew Over 50 Challenge, and they want you to find patterns that have people that who are over 50 on the cover or would appear to be in that age bracket, right? Uh, sometimes it, it's hard to tell if someone is over 50, right? So I did find three pattern here. I have a Butterick 6784, and I'm not sure which one I'm going to make just yet, but I like this because you can do some color blocking. And then I have Simplicity 8603. That's a potential make for the challenge. And then we have some pajamas, Simplicity, Simplicity 3971, right? This is, I believe I got this one from a thrift shop. So it was only, what is that, 50 cent? I only paid 50 cent for this particular pattern. Um, I'm not sure if I'll make this. I've made quite a few pieces of um, pajamas, sleepwear. So I'm not sure if I'll, I'll make this. But out of the three, I will select one for my project for next month. So see which one that I will select because I gotta figure out what type of fabric did I have to go with one of these patterns as well. So now a little bit about life. I wanna show you the progress that is going on with the restoration project here in my home. So I'll show you the sink that came in today. I got a shelf this week and it was heavy. It was sitting at my front doorstep so I had to take it apart outside and bring in piece by piece because um, I couldn't lift the whole box on my own. And then I had to take all those pieces of the shelf downstairs, show you a little bit of that as well. is pretty much it for this week Friday Sews. I want to thank you all for joining me again to check out my two projects and you can follow me on Instagram which is just lovely living. I'll leave that in the description so that you can see some more pictures. I'll add some pictures to the end of this as well. So thank you all for joining me. If you made it this far I would love for you to give me a thumbs up and subscribe so that we can chat with one another and, and keep up with our progress along the way as we are on this sewing journey together. Thank you all and have a lovely day.